Good morning. Well, good morning. Uh, normally, we do coffee, the, coffee with the crackers on coffee with the crackers. <laughs> but today we're doing coffee with the crackers with the OG crackers. <laughs> right now it's just Jace and I. George may join us in a little bit, but um, I've enjoyed our visit so much. And uh, we uh, tell me, Jason, how do you like uh, when Dale comes around? Well, I'll say this. That's why I got this going on right now. <laughs> I kind of, my inner Rusty, which is Robert's in the Valley Acres, that's a channel if you haven't checked him out. But he's got handlebar mustache, and I was like, you know what? Dale needs to have it this time. <laughs> and uh, normally I just do like long chops and stuff, but I normally have hair and I can have a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> but Dez ruined that one. So I was like, hey, you know what? Let's just step this up a notch. Uh, it was Rusty's birthday. So I was like, a little tribute to Rusty. Um, not making fun of you by any means. No way. Uh, actually, I've, that's like the most hardcore facial hair you can have is a handlebar mustache, yeah. I think. Um, but having a character as Dale, it lets me vent. It lets me get things out. It lets me let my creative juices flow and that's something that I always have to do if you watch any of my stuff is I can't do the same thing every day or I just I can't do it yeah. so to be able to have an alter ego especially Dale of all alter egos it it gives me that escape I guess um, and I guess you found out like I found out a lot easier than you think it is it starts easy. flowing off the tongue and you can't stop well you know um i still got a pretty heavy southern accent even after living in texas for 42 years yeah. and so sometimes shoot dang is just born in you it is and it um i just i have a blast doing it and i i said on one of our videos i am not making fun of anybody by any means when i start talking like that it's pretty natural. It's I'm just, just gonna say it's the inner soul coming out. It is, and uh, I didn't think oh uh, George was gonna like Joe Bob very much. I think he enjoys it more than any of us. Yeah, I think he kind of got into it pretty good. So well, his head's so big, he needs two hats. <laughs> I just keep looking at the camera. I'm like, why is Rusty here? <laughs> um, uh. But yeah, it it's just a really fun thing, and. Um, at this point, uh, I don't know if you've already seen Matt's video that came out or anything, but we did a whole family, the Doolittles. Uh, we went out there and did a skit. I won't ruin it in case Matt doesn't get the video out yet or whatever, but uh, we did a whole skit and just, I guess, the funny thing is a lot of people think it's stupid, but a lot of people think it's really funny. Um, but it's a bonding experience for our whole family. And, it is. And the reality is, is our family hasn't always been super close, I guess. I mean, we're close, but we've never been like, Matt, nice to meet you. No. Or nice to see you, you know. Not with the boys. Yeah, no. never, nothing like that. But now when it's like the Doolittles, we can joke with each other and stuff and all that. And it just kind of, I guess, breaks up the normal family dynamic of it, I guess. Um the Doolittles are a little nicer than the Crockers, as far as like... <laughs> they are? <laughs> well, as far as like getting along together. Oh. Um, normally the Crockers <laughs> just talk trash, you know them. Um, but yeah, the Doolittles are just a, that good southern family that sticks together and uh, does all that. But you're hearing commodes flush, you're seeing <laughs> brothers walk through, this is real life. Live action, I'm yeah. telling you. This is the Crockers right here. <laughs> when you hear toilets flushing, you know you're in a Crocker house. <laughs> Mom, what did we end up talking about at Granny's before we left? Stories. I guess poop, but I truly don't remember. Poop stories. Um, oh, where Dad had to run down the road. All of us were talking poop <laughs> stories. Uh, yeah. And I, I think it was Seth the last time we were all together down here, and, and he just said... Or maybe it was you. I don't know. Somebody said that. We were all together, and they said, you know when all the crockers are together, there's going to be poop stories. <laughs> it's just the way it is. It's either you can't poop or you poop too much. Yeah. Um, that's just the reality of it. But 
the Doolittles, they got a poop, good poop schedule. Um, they're very lucky. They're full of poop, that's for sure. They're, yeah. Um, that's why. It's just easy to come out. It's very natural. But, uh... You think you could have been a hick? You're a hick and Could have been inner, a hick? I, I am. We let our inner hick come out when yeah. we do Melody and Dale. And, I don't know if Dale would be more considered a hick... Or backwoods, or just inbred. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think he's a little bit of all of them. Um, and I think that's the funny thing is, is of course, like we said, we're not making fun of anybody no. out there or nothing like that. It's just funny because um, that was Dad trying to walk through in his underwear. <laughs> that would have just totally blown this up, Mom. You missed a viral hit. But I got it. I got some breakfast. Where's Jason's wallet? <laughs> Oh, of course you'd do this on camera. Um, That's funny. I, it might be in the truck. That's what you call free breakfast. Why would you leave your wallet in the truck? I think it's in that part in the truck. Well, now you just tell everybody where you leave your wallet. Only right now. <laughs> so, Jason, did it... Um, when you did Dale, you brought it all up yourself. And then uh, when I wanted... I did Melody. Mm -hmm. Did it a... Did it rain on your parade? Was it like, well, dad gum, everybody's trying to get in on well, the Well, no, so at first, well, the whole Dell thing was an accident. Um, it was the day that we shot a hog at the ranch. Actually, we shot the hog the day before. We hung it up, or maybe early in the day, something like that. And we were going to come in. This is the 100-day ranch rescue. We were coming into y'all's house, and I told Jaylene, I said, I don't have time to do a video. Like, kind of puts me in a bad mood when I get to, like, rush a video and put it out. And I said... I don't have time for this. I just need to skin this hog and we need to go into town to my parents' house. And I said, I don't want to rush doing skinning a hog for a video because then I'll just get beat up um, in comments because I'm not an expert when it comes to skinning, skinning animals and hunting. I like to do it and we've done it a lot, but not an expert. And um, Jaylena just said, well, just do it as a like as a character, just make it up and do it funny. And I was like, so it's all Jaylena's yeah, fault. She, yeah, she. Yeah, it the, is. That the Doolittle Clan came about. It is, and um, that old Sheila. And um, but we never did get to see Sheila. Not yet. And uh, and she's been pregnant for years now. So she says. I think that's the only <laughs> way she keeps him around. But uh, but she's always drinking wine and smoking cigarettes. <laughs> so something's wrong. There's yeah. Cool George right there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, good morning, y'all. But yeah, we um, it was just a, a rush thing, and she's like, just go out there and be a character, and I'm like, I don't have a character, and I said the only thing I I can just be like a stupid like redneck that doesn't know what he's doing and just make fun of it and and do whatever, and I was like, all right, well, but like, who is it? And she just said Dale, and I was just like. Well, I have an Uncle Dale. I know, am that's I, what I was thinking. Am I going to be, like, dissing his name? Then I was like, nah. First off, no one knows Uncle Dale in here. Um, he passed away a while back. And, and Uncle Dale would be uh, honored to have you as a Dale. He probably would. He probably He's probably cracking up up there and having watching this stuff. And uh, so and so I just said, all right. And I was like, well, like, what's what's the skit? Like, what, what do I do? So, I don't dip or drink alcohol. Or, well, I, I drink alcohol, but just not beer or anything like that. And I barely drink when I do drink. But, so I got, I always would eat sunflower seeds. So, I just got sunflower seeds and stuck it in my lip, like dip. And then, I think I had like a Mountain Dew or a Sprite or something. No, it was, I think, an orange sun kiss. And uh, I like cracked it open and drank it and just did the whole thing. And anyway, I was spitting and... Skinning a hog and out there, this is how you do this and blah blah blah. Well, we put it up and I was like, this is the end of my YouTube career. And uh, I thought it would just be a huge disaster. But then everyone thought it was funny and they said, hey, you should keep doing it. Yeah. And I was just like, I don't know why you wouldn't want to watch this, but it's, it was fun. Um, we never were in acting or nothing like drama classes and like I was like anti all that. But it was fun doing that, and it was an escape from YouTube since we had to do videos every day. And then we did, Dale was teaching people how to hunt, and he yes. came out and he, he shot the deer, and 
stuff like that, and people liked it. And then at that point, I thought I had to be a full blown character, so we bought the Bubba teeth that are all big, and you stick them in. Um, you know, I did all that and cut the sleeves off. That's where like we always cut our sleeves off, but then it became like a staple. Why did you uh, let go of the teeth? You don't use those anymore. It was just annoying. <laughs> Because at that point, then you had to have the teeth, yeah. you had, and talking with it, and you know, you just buy them from like the dollar store, they're cheap, so they would like fall out. And then at that point, I don't think I shaved or anything. I may have, but I don't know if I did or not. And then I just, once it came out and everyone was like, oh, we liked it, I was like, okay, well, then I have to go full blown. And that's when I would like, my hair was long and I'd comb it behind my ear, make it look like a mullet, <laughs> started shaving mustaches, and Stuff and then like you that. started playing the guitar and dancing around up there yeah. in the woods. And uh, it just kind of just took off, and uh, it was fun. And then I got a text. I didn't even know they did the video. I got a text from my mom. She said, I hope you don't think we're making fun of you or trying to steal your idea. And I'm like, what did you do? I was like, I have no idea what you what you, what you you did. And then, so I watched the video, and then it was strictly Melody. Um, I couldn't get anybody else on board at that time, and... I just, well, we were struggling for content. We don't have all the content that he does. And uh, I I mean, honestly, that stuff just flows out of me. It is, it's it a little is easier me. than it you It really is expect. me. Yeah. And then uh, it took a while to get Joe Bob on. He was, mm -mm, he wasn't going to Well, that's it. because. Bang, bang, bang. That's because he was always out running around to the casino and whatnot. Oh, yeah, probably so. But uh, he really likes it. And. Uh, the one Daryl, the one with two legs, he didn't mind doing it either. Now, the, the other Daryl, he's only made one appearance on this whole shebang. Yeah, so, because we, whenever I was down here, um, Matt, which is Daryl with two R's, um, if you don't know, okay, we'll run down the family if you don't know. <laughs> so, uh, I'm Dale, and uh, Melody... And then you got Jim Bob, which is the dad. Joe Bob. Joe Bob, which is the dad. He was never around. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and um, and then you have Daryl with one R, and then you have Daryl with two R's. It's my brother Daryl and my other brother Daryl. And I'm sure people watching on our channel most likely remember from the Bob Newhart show. That's where it came from. It's my brother. I'm Dale. It's my brother. No, he wasn't Dale. No. I don't remember the names, but... But he said, this is my brother Daryl and my other brother Daryl. Yeah. And that's kind of where that came from, but... Larry. Larry. Larry and Daryl and Daryl. But, but it, you had already made Dale yeah. up before we ever created Daryl's. But the funny thing is, it's... Dale with two R's has two legs. Dale with one R has one leg. And we can make fun of Jared because he's been missing his leg since we were like two. And so, Jared makes fun of Jared. Well, yeah, and that's the thing is, I think the whole... Doolittles is showing people have, just have a thick skin. Um, quit being offended by everything, really and truly. And, you know, Jared technically is handicapped. None of us think he's handicapped. You know, he can do whatever. we He does everything. But to make fun of his name that associates with how many legs you have, <laughs> I mean, that it's just funny. And it's just, I guess it's comic relief in this screwed up world that we're living in. Oh, and, yeah. uh... I don't know. It's fun. It was definitely just something that... It was a joke. And it became a skit. Fun. And if we all lived closer, it probably would be an entire channel. Uh, <laughs> that's how we roll. We uh, keep creating channels because that's like our creative juices flow and we do different things. But Not mine. My creative juices are not flowing. Eh. They're uh, just going with the flow. Yeah. But, um, I don't know, we just found out that YouTube's fun. It gives you a platform to be serious or silly or whatever you want. And not that I take YouTube very seriously as far as, like, my content. But on the Crockers, it is more, like, tiny house, off-grid living. So, Real work. Yeah. So, to be able to jump back in um, to Dale and to have... The character to break it up every now and again it's funny so well I appreciate you taking the time to sit down with me and make this video yeah. and um, I won't copy your coffee with the crockers but I mean technically we are crockers and we're having coffee so that's true that and we're chatting but that is
Well, Jason, I've had a, a good visit with you, and, uh... That is time for me to go home, huh? No. <laughs> um, I was just going to say we can cut the video. Well, I know. Um, but, yeah, it was... This is basically... This is Cough the Crockers. I didn't... I'm not posting one. Um, so, we did Coffee the Crockers. It's not a lie. There you go. That's not even clickbait. Nope. We don't do clickbait around here. I don't even know how. Yeah, I, uh, and I just taught my mom how to make the screen even wider. <laughs> so, we'll see you on the next one.